Hello guys, here is Mac Tico and this is the fourth part of the making process of MDI number 4. At this moment all the mechanical parts are done. And in this video I will show how I made the chassis. Starting by this piece, which I consider the main of the chassis. That connects to this base. And also to this part that will support the chest. It's made out of a PVC pipe with 75 mm of diameter. And this vertical piece also is a PVC pipe with 50 mm of diameter. With the guidance of a template, first I made a hole in the 75 mm PVC pipe to attach the order of 50 mm. And with the help of a T-joint, I could make a good right angle with the two PVC pipes. Glued together with instant adhesive and reinforced with epoxy. This detail, in addition to aesthetic, is also a reinforcement. And the air inlets. Another important piece of the chassis is this base, which combined with this caster wheel helps on the stability. And the base is made out of high impact polystyrene sheets, reinforced with aluminum channels in fire spots. Five layers of 2 mm thick polystyrene sheets were combined. The base was attached to the main PVC pipe with instant adhesive and epoxy. And here we have a cover for the base of the chassis. Where is placed the fan for the DC motor driver. A display for battery voltage monitoring. And the power switch. Here is the DC motor driver and here will be placed the battery to fit the whole robot. Each side has two sets of tracks and each set is formed by 30 track segments. The brackets for the tracks are also formed by 5 layers of polystyrene sheets. and also reinforced with aluminum channel.
and let me show how the DC motors are installed. Here you can see how the brackets for the tracks are attached to the chassis. And to finish, this is the bracket to hold the chest and its pan tilt mechanism. In the next episode, I will show how I made the head. Thanks for watching and stay tuned!